Hello and welcome back to Higa House. Today, let's talk about this cozy little cottage with a spectacular interior design. Owning a home is always a big decision to make, but prospective homeowners today may find that buying is out of the question. With house prices and centers being higher than ever, people are considering other options. It's hard to believe that just over 100 years ago, the majority of people were living in homes that were just big enough to fit their large families. Now, we have small families of three living in houses that are 2,000 square feet and then some. The average house today is approximately 2,600 square feet, and the average family is three or four. The square footage of houses these days has increased, while family size has decreased. Older generations were accustomed to living in a house with 10 or more family members, and their homes were just as large as the average home size today. Children shared rooms, and everyone shared one or two bathrooms, and the living space was arranged to suit a variety of purposes. So if a family of 10 could live in an average-sized house and make it work, then why do smaller families insist on living in houses where they have more space than they know what to do with? One of the factors, of course, is the external pressure to show our success through the size of our homes and other material goods. This tiny house is a great example of what is possible when it comes to buying small homes. You don't necessarily have to live in a tiny house on wheels to live tiny. You can purchase an older home like this one and fix it up to look great. This appears to be an older home from around the 1930s or so. Homes like this were built after World War I to help new families get a fresh start after their loved ones return from the war without having to spend a fortune. The same idea goes for buying a smaller house these days. You don't have to spend a fortune on the actual home, but you can own something and then fix it up as you like. This home features some great renovations like exposing the brick wall in the living room and renovating the kitchen upgrading the appliances and cabinets. The most notable thing they did was remove the attic space to reveal a higher ceiling, and then they created a loft space above the kitchen and the bedroom. This really opens the small space up and offers some more space for a bedroom or for storage. They also updated the paint colors on the exterior of the home and brought in some bright peachy colors to give it some personality. There are still some of these types of smaller houses available, and people who are into small house living are snatching them up for fairly affordable prices and renovating them to make them their own. The tiny house movement is also about reducing our carbon footprint and creating a more sustainable life that is in harmony with the earth. Tiny houses use less electricity, gas, and heat than their larger counterparts, which is more affordable for the tiny house dwellers and more environmentally friendly. Many tiny houses dwellers also use solar power or wind power. Another reason for small house living is to have the time and resources for other interests. Now that the cost of living is so high, people are looking for other options to become self-sustainable. People of all ages are jumping on board the tiny house movement and it's paving a new way for us all. And that's our video, and if you like it, please consider dropping a like, it really helps this channel to grow. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to this channel. We always feature new homes every day, from log homes to tiny homes to vacation homes and other inspiring home ideas. I truly hope you had a great day, and we will see you in the next video.